Welcome to the instructional guide for the setup of the F3053 variable speed drive. In this video, we'll walk you through the essential procedures to ensure a smooth operation. Let's start by connecting the pressure transducer. Step one, loosen the grommet to allow the red and black wires to pass through for the connection process. Step two, ensure that the VSD is not powered before connecting. Connect the red wire to the P24 Plus and the black wire to the AI1 terminals. Ensure the toggle switch is in the I position and not in the V position. Step three, ensure that the gasket is put back and screwed tightly. Next, let's enter the VSD password. Step four, first begin by turning the power back on. Press the program escape button. F000 will be displayed. Press enter. Step five, use the run stop button to set the value to 50,000 or triple zero zero five. Press the enter button. Then navigate by using the up and down arrows to change the value to F001 and press enter. Step six, a value of 001 will be displayed. Change the value to 237. Press Enter. With the password entered, we can begin the setup process. Step 7. Let's set the pressure transducer value. Navigate to setting F006 by using the up and down arrows. Press the Enter button. A value of 010.00 will be displayed. Adjust the value to match your transducer's pressure rating. A 10-bar transducer will have a value of 010.00. A 16-bar transducer will have a value of 016.00 and a 25-bar transducer will have a value of 025.00. Step 8. Press the Enter button once you have entered your transducer value. Step 9. Let's set the motor current. Press the program Escape button. Navigate to setting F007. Press the Enter button. Step 10. A value will be displayed. Change this value to the corresponding value of your motor current. Press the Enter button. If the pump is running in the wrong direction, change the cables of the two phases. Step 11. When adjusting a pressure, use the up and down arrows to change the pressure. Step 12. If you're connecting multiple VSDs in Cascade, connect the SG- and SG- terminals accordingly. Connect the SG- terminal to the SG- terminal of the other VSD using a connecting cable. Connect the SG+ terminal to the SG+ terminal of the other VSD. Step 13. Power on the VSDs and press the program escape button. Navigate to setting F011. Press the enter button. Step 14. A value of 0000 will be displayed. The first 3 digits from the left are the number of VSD in the system. So if the two VSDs need to be connected, the value will be adjusted to 002 by using the up and down arrows. The last digits indicate the number of the VSD in the system, where one is the master VSD and any other value will be the slave VSD. Step 15. By using the up and down arrows, change the values of the VSD to the corresponding number in the VSD in the system. Step 16. Press the enter button. Step 17. Next by using the up and down arrows navigate to setting F029. Change the value to the number of pumps in the system. Lastly, press the enter button. And there you have it, the cascading function has been set up. Easy and efficient ways to perform essential tasks on your VSD. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the setup of the VSD. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask or refer to the manufacturer's support resources.